The city of Corpus Christi looking to give Blucher Park a real environmental facelift. It's the latest nature park which has been targeted for removal of invasive trees, bushes and grass. Our Michael Gibson joins us with the details on the big project. Michael. The Blucher family deeded the wildlife nature area to the city way back in 1942. And since that time, there's been a lot of non-native plants that have somehow become part of the ecosystem there. So today, City Councilwoman Paulette Guajardo put on this news conference to announce the start of the work that's going on there now in this nearly four acre nature park. The American Conservation Experience is under contract by U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and one of their tasks is to transform Blucher Park to a 100% native plant paradise. It has served as a hot spot for those birds who are native to our area, as well as those migratory birds who use it as simply a stopover. But the city is now working to clear out those non-native plants and try and turn Blucher Park into an even more attractive place for birds and, of course, humans. Birds like structure, they like a multi-tiered structure, big trees, middle size understory, and uh, smaller understory. Um, so as a resource to new tropical migrating birds, they need that. Now some of the trees, like the white lead tree, have already been removed. The white lead looks like a mimosa tree, but it's not native to South Texas. We were told that there are probably around 100,000 non-native trees and maybe over 200,000 of the seeds dropped by those invasive species in Blucher Park. The initial effort will last around six weeks to try and remove all of those plants. It's part of this project, which will continue on for years. Now, the American Conservation Experience expert told us that the job of clearing out non-native plants will take years because of those seeds which have been dropped over the years, and they will continue to produce new plants in the future. Leslie? All right, Michael, thank you.